Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, this is your girl Truly the Mind, and it's been like forever, like a week plus since I made a video, and it's like, oh my god! But it's like I've hit a brain fart about what to film, and I know you guys are like, what? Um. I don't know why I still have my best scarf on, but oh well, I was ready to go eat. And I was like, girl, sit your butt down and film a video today. So I came up with favorites. I figured, because I do get asked a lot, what products do I prefer to use or what am I using now? And every time somebody asks me, I'm, depending on the day or maybe the new month, I'm using different products and they're like, Miss. like who told you to switch it up so I decided to so I decided to come and make a February favorites video of what I am using now and what I tend to reach for every day um because next month is gonna be something different of course once you buy new makeup then you start to love that and then you're like ooh, 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 touch it every day and you forget about all the, all the hundreds of dollars you spent on other makeup that you don't even touch and I'm glad I'm actually a makeup artist so I can use those other products on you know my clients and stuff like a bunch of my Anastasia Beverly Hills um the contour cream kits I did buy for my clients but I never wear them on myself I just I just don't like them I don't know I don't like them for myself but I love them on my clients it's weird so you know what you use on yourself or how you do your makeup you don't necessarily do your clients makeup that way um so yeah Let's get started. I'm going to make this video super short and super sweet because there's not a lot of new products that I use. So some are really that you see all the time. But I just wanted to make a video specifically for this, so specifically for um, this purpose so you guys can know what I'm using this month in February that I'm loving. Um, I'm excited because companies have been reaching out to me. They want me to do like product reviews and stuff. So I'm excited about that so I can have product reviews up for you guys. And yeah, maybe they'll make it to my favorite list. Um, so starting off first, foundation. I'm not going to do because I literally switch my foundation every day. And it's like, I have no favorite. I'll be using my MAC Studio Fix. I'll be using my MAC Studio Fix um, Fluid foundation um or NARS and be um NARS or black opal sticks or the the liquid foundation so I literally change my foundation every day right now I'm wearing NARS and like last week I was wearing MAC so I'm gonna skip the foundation part because it literally depends on the day and how I feel what I want to use um so on to the next concealers these babies you guys know I did a review on these comparing them to the NARS cream and radiant concealer and I literally have been grabbing for these every day I have, have yet to use a different concealer like I am in love with these like I use the color nutmeg and tan and mix those together and Literally, I have so many concealers and it's crazy because I literally use them, literally use them every day. I don't know why I have my windows open in my house because now everybody wants to make all this noise. Okay, we'll have fun now. So yeah, I've been using those concealers every day. No other concealer, I literally have been using every day. Um, to set my concealer, I have been using Sasha with the Laura Mercier and it's like normally I'm a one or the other type of girl but I have literally been using Sasha and Laura Mercier together if you see inside of here it has some yellow in it because I've been mixing it and putting it back in here you know I literally have been using those every day and to set my color corrector I've been picking up this black opal um, finishing deluxe powder in the color deep and this is something I just added to my foundation routine and setting my color corrector and I love the way it turns out. And this bad boy, I've been picking up to set that every day. What I will tell you guys is my new foundation brush. Okay, 
This is my baby right here. This is, this came with the February set of Morphe brushes that I get delivered to me each month. So this was the February set. And this is the Morphe G36 brush. This brush I have been using to put on my foundation. And I love it. You guys know I love the e.l.f. Um, powder brush. And this baby is replacing that. I've been picking up this baby for these today every day. Like, I haven't even picking up my booty blender to put on my foundation. I haven't. I use it legit for just concealer. Um, you guys know for my brows, I'm still picking up the ColourPop Brow Pomade in black and brown. I used to be a pencil type of girl, but I'm such a pomade type of girl now lately. Like, I was just thinking, do I know how to use a pencil anymore? It's crazy. It's crazy. Another one of my favorite brushes is this e.l.f. stippling brush to blend in my contour. It's like amazing. Like, I love this brush. I had to run into the store and buy a million more. Um, I'm all over the place with this, but this concealer, the LA Girl Pro Concealer, you guys, if you watch my videos faithfully, you know I hate this. But lately, I have been picking it up every day. I don't know if it's because I'm running low on my other ones or if this baby is doing the job for me. But to be honest, it's doing the job for me. Like, I just been picking that up every day. Um, my eyeshadows, I've only been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows like every day. Of course, I use Fudge every day, Morocco, Sienna. Like, if I have eyeshadow on, no, it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. My highlight I've been using has been this Sugar Daddy um, from Artist Couture. I, you guys know I have the whole collection from the Jackie Anna, and I literally only been picking up Sugar Daddy and I think Conceited, but mostly Sugar Daddy every day. Um, Pow, my Marielle Basque spray has literally replaced my Max Fix Plus and any other cyber sprays that I have, but this day I spritzed it before, in the middle, and in the end. So I just ran to Ulta and grabbed a few more. I got the smallest sizes for my clients, so I don't be going back and forth using mine on them because I love it. Of course, lashes has been the Ardell Wispies. This is actually the normal pack. I have been using the Deluxe pack, which is basically the Wispies stack. Um, and primer, oh my god, I have been in love with this e.l.f. primer. I have been in love with this e.l.f. primer. Like, I just love it. You guys know I used to love my baby skin primer from Maybelline, um, Becca's. It's, what else did I have? I have professional, but this, I love it. Like, I really love it. It minimizes those pores really well and it leaves my skin feeling soft. It also helps me blend in all of the product on my face easily. It just blends all together and I don't be oily quick. I love it. Um, my lippies have been the Pure Cosmetics lippies. Love them. And the Urban Decay HD lip glosses. I have been also a gloss type of girl, you can see no matte we have gloss on top um but these pure lippies oh my god the formula is amazing it's super smooth and look at the brush it's super smooth and it just glides on the brush makes for easy application and i just love these two colors this pair with a brown lippy pencil gives me the perfect nude and you know red i'm either nudes or red lips like honestly um and the Urban Decay HD glosses, you guys know, are super pigmented. And oh my god, you can literally wear these by themselves as like a lipstick, and it's super pigmented and it long lasting. And you know, I'm a nude or red type of girl, so I've been wearing these, been traveling with these everywhere. Um, my Max Skin Finish is my baby, baby, baby. I've been picking her. 
her up every day. Um, I did purchase the Colossal Big Shot from Maybelline. This is not one of my favorites and I don't know why I picked it up. Just but to tell you guys that X-Rated and Too Faced Better Than Sex are still the mascaras I use every day. I bought this because Makeup Shada Shayla collapsed on this and of course I have to support my boobs so I bought it but I hate it. I don't know why because her lashes be popping so I want to try and go forward to making this a March favorite which means I'm going to pick it up more to see if I want to love it more. Um, that's basically it. Last but not least is this mask. It is from Freeman Beauty I believe. It's the Sweet Tea and Lemon Pillow Away Clay Mask. And oh my gosh, I put this on before like, you know, going out, having special occasions or travel before I went on vacation. I put this mask on and it leaves my skin feeling amazing. I love that it's a peel away mask and oh my gosh, this little packet gives you about two or three uses. I'm on a hunt to find the squeeze tube of it because it is amazing. I have so many of the Freeman Beauty masks, but this one is a amazing so that is it this was quick oh this brush this I got from Ulta Beauty for 20 bucks I've been using this to clean my face after using my makeup and it literally unclogs all my pores and cleans my face really well so I've seen a lot of like Clarisonics and Benny Planets and all those things which are a little bit pricey um, especially the Clarisonic, but this one is amazing for the price and I've been picking this one up every day almost or every time I wear makeup all the time. It's normally in my shower so I just, I feel like, Ugh. so yeah, this video I tried to make it short, sweet and fast. Sorry if I rushed it a little bit. You guys leave any questions below about any of the products I, um, mentioned in this video. Also, if you have any products that you want to try, but are scared or maybe you want to spend the dollars, comment below and let me know what they are so I can go out and buy them and try them out for you guys. Also, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and make sure you um, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next